we've been through all the papers. Uh, local, national, you name it. Not a single mention, not one, of the Great Battle. The only worthwhile thing I've found all day is an amazing family circus cartoon that, admittedly, now that I look closer at it, is quite racist. Honey, that's, Honey. that's the Sudoku. That's... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, where was I getting family circus? <sighs> you know what? I dreamt it. I, I had a family circus dream, and the dream was racist. <clears throat> okay, me talking time. You see, he hit his head during the battle. Actually, I hit him. It was an accident, kind of. And now he can't remember anything. I got my head hit in the battle. What are we talking about? Okay, it is very surprising that there's no media coverage on the battle. I mean, as far as battles between superheroes and underground mind-controlled Euchre minions go, it was a pretty big one. Mm -hmm. But that is mainstream media for ya. Yep. And let's not let the alternative press off the hook here. Yep. And the blogosphere. Say it again. Mm -hmm. And the Superhero Fighting Euchre Minions monthly uh, newsletter, or self-published fanzine, as they like to correct me. They had Pippa Middleton on the cover. Yeah. Who admittedly was so hot right now. So Pippa's yeah, so just fantastic. Right now. Really stole the wedding. Yeah. Typical though, right? Typical media bullshit. We, n you know, it's fine. We never get the coverage we deserve or that I deserve. I, I also deserve that. Continue. That we deserve. You, know, it's fine. We're not in it for the glory. That's right, yeah. right? Yeah. As long as we're out there facing extreme danger, saving lives for no pay, we're happy. We're heroes. Well, I get paid. It would have been nice to have some coverage, some respect for us. I mean, if not for us, what about the other people involved? Like that spaceship of yours? Those monkeys, they showed up right in time. And they were good. They weren't like those crappy useless <laughs> monkeys you see at the zoo just like eating their own shit and stuff. No, those monkeys stunk. My monkeys were amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not exactly sure how they knew how to show up. Mr. Tibbles must have sent them a message. That's um, the only way I can... Who's Mr. Tibbles? Oh, he's a... Uh... One of my space monkeys from my crew in the future. I sent him back to your time to help you fight Sucker. He's um, staying with the plumber, I believe. Okay, but why is he called Mr. Tibbles? Oh, uh, well, he constantly wets himself. And we already had a Mr. Tinkles. Next logical name. Okay, and he thought of this before he hit his head. Look, they both wet themselves constantly. No doubt about it. Um, and I, yeah, it doesn't make either of them ideal candidates for time travel. But it was better than the alternative, I can promise you that. The alternative being... Uh, Corporal shits in his pants. Of course. <laughs>